Okay, so let's talk more about the overwhelming component because I think that's equally important in Taz's um, question here. Now, her question was more about a transition, um, but really is the overwhelming component that I think is also equally important to talk about in this episode. So, is it overwhelming? Yes. And the thing is, is not necessarily your fault. It is the industry's fault because they have failed to clearly organize and structure network technologies and solutions. And when I was starting out in networking, I noticed that as well. I felt suffocated. And that was the main reason why I created the network design cookbook. I'm also finishing, I'm in the final phases of wrapping up my second edition of the Network Design Cookbook, which I am very, very excited about. I found my purpose because my design cookbook is focused on providing organization and structure to network technologies and services. So when we say data center, it means this. When we say voice, it means this. I really focus on, I focus years of trying to provide structure because the other vendors have failed. Like Cisco. Cisco has gone through different labels and terms for how they represent networks constantly. Like I remember a long time ago, they, in terms of routing and switching, they called it core network services. Okay. I think before that or after that, I don't even know the time frame anymore. It was called borderless networks. What the hell that's supposed to mean? And it's constant like that. I think now on Cisco's website is something completely different now. Because there's no organization or structure, there's no standard about how these technologies are represented. And that was my sole purpose of the network design cookbook. So when I did that, it makes all this technology, I'm not trying to sell you guys on my cookbook here though. But for me, it was something that I needed to do because everything was a big mess, a big muck. And doing the, the design cookbook, it allowed me to understand technology now in categories and how I can learn from them and how I can design them, how can I can configure them. It made it a lot more clear for me. And the thing is that a lot of people don't have that blueprint, so it becomes more challenging to figure out how do you learn the different type of technologies that are out there. Therefore, the, the best, advice I can give you a recommendation is you want to specialize. That's really uh, the main thing to kind of take away from this. Because when networking started out, it was just like routing and switching. Now it has grown to something very, very, very big. Okay. That in the network professional umbrella, there's a lot of different areas there, a lot of different specialties. It's like becoming a doctor, all right? And as a doctor, well, what kind of doctor are you? Well, you specialize in different areas, right? Whether it's, you know, there are doctors for children, um, there's doctors for women, there's doctors that focus on the brain or the heart or skin or the, you know, the organs inside. I'm not a doctor, so. But there are different specialties, right? You're not gonna see a doctor that does everything, no, they specialize. And I think that for IT itself, it has grown so that you have to specialize because if not, it can be overwhelming. Specialization is extremely important and is something that I think Taz is realizing in what she's doing right now. Like I know a person who lives in France. He's like a 20 year CCIE. He specializes with IPv6. There's another person I connect with the name is Dr. Voip, that's his company. He specializes with voice and unified communications. There's another friend of mine who specializes with storage networks in data center environments. I have another friend of mine that works at WebEx, so he focuses more with um, web conferencing um, services, which is a part of unified communications. You have to specialize. And doing that, it makes the big muck out there, all these terms, it makes it more fine-tuned so that you can focus with that for getting certified, getting experience, and of course, being a subject matter expert in that particular field. 